We're back in the snow, ladies and gentlemen of the Insanity Era. Welcome back to Undertale. <laughs> We're back in Snowden, baby. Hello, Undyne. Hey, punk. What's up? Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin. So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease. But you don't have a stomach. No, but I have standards. Uh, am I missing something here? Uh, it's cheap. Uh, I might be doing something wrong here. Hold on. Hey, punk, what's up? No, that's just the same thing. Um. Uh huh. of you to check my mail for me! Wait, no, that's very strange. Uh, 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 uh. I don't, I don't get it. Ho hold on, I, I have to look this up. I am a dingle dubungus. Okay. You can't actually do the thing with Alfie's until after you meet Asgore. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like such a doof. Oh my god. I said we were going to be do some, doing something with Alfie's today. Oh my god. I'm going to have to edit that video now. Actually, no, I'm not going to edit that video. Uh, I'm going to keep that ending. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I don't know. Let's do this. This is one long hallway. This is a really long hallway. Look at all of these buildings. Oh. Oh my. New home. Looks like Toriel's house. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Got the heart shaped locket. There's a worn dagger in the box. You got the worn dagger. The weapon in this box changes depending on if you do a pacifist or a genocide run. It'll be the worn dagger in a pacifist run, but it'll be a knife in the genocide. Room under renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. There's such a claws out from inside. Aww. It's Asquith's journal. All the current pages say, Nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. That's right. Alfie's dead. Is it just me, or... Were these flowers lower? That's kind of creepy. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the humans back to the castle. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope.
the key, but it's right from this keychain. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Azrael racked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset back to the village of the humans. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Not long now. King Asgore will give us hope. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Why would I be happy of my death? You're going to be free. That's very creepy, I'm going. Last corridor. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then, now. You will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. The 
way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it, is. it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring others to hurt. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strived to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. And just like that, he's gone. <laughs> Undertale is a funny game, isn't it? You can do basically whatever you wish. Toby Fox made it so that it wasn't like your traditional RPG. Your choices matter. Gratefully, even. This is a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Insane. It's empty. Yep. It's empty. But that won't be that way for long. The throne entrance. Dum -dee -dum -dee. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Looks like you're peeing, huh? Here we are. Howdy. How can I... Oh. So badly you want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, uh, you know how it is. Hmm. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of cats. another throne covered by a white sheet. That throne is Toriel's throne. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Surprising that monsters know of dentists. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. The end. This is what keeps all of us trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. 
I see. Anything you want to do is important. Even something as small as reading a book or taking a walk. Please, take your time. I'll meet you outside of the core. going on? I am so confused right now. Am I missing something here? I wish I could look this up, but I can't. At least, not legitimately. Uh... uh... I don't know. I don't get what you're supposed to do here. But... Let me see. I'm an even bigger baloney than I thought. Well... It's not like I can just do what I normally do. I saved way too many times. Great. Well, I guess all we really got in this video was just a bunch of lore. But that's not bad, is it? You know? Lore's not a bad thing. You know, it can actually be really helpful, I guess you could say. I won't say what we were going to be doing with Alphys. Instead, I'll say this. Next time on Undertale, we'll face King Asgore and beat this game. <laughs> Am I going to the right... I just went to the coffin room, dang it! <laughs>